Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here. Of course, San Diego Comic Con has allowed us to get a couple of trailers, um, a couple of disappointments because certain trailers were revealed at panels that we will not see. I don't know when we're gonna get that Black Panther and Avengers stuff. Like all the Marvel stuff, it seems to be like what's hidden away. Like anything giant Marvel based is like, nah, you'll see it later. Uh, TV stuff is all out there, but the big stuff is like, nah. But for now, we're talking about The Walking Dead. The new trailer came out for this season and it was pretty cool. I actually really loved the trailer because it was intense but very very simple. It starts off with some dialogue and then it goes into the music and it's mostly just random clips. Like that, it, it was just clips of random stuff happening. You got, um, you know, people on motorcycles, people on horses, people just walking around. Uh, there may not have actually been horses. There's so much happening, there's probably a horse in there somewhere. Um, but just a lot of people walking and talking is like, you know, um, they have Rick saying, like, you know, when I first met Jesus, he mentioned oh, my world's going to get so much bigger. And now that it has, basically, we got to defend it. You know, we have this crazy dude coming around, and we got to figure something out. We got to take him out. We got to take out all his people. Somewhere in the middle of this, a lot of craziness happens because um, somehow, you know, like, the one person in the universe who doesn't seem to fight which is the father although he started to like him and morgan were like the two people who wouldn't fight and then they both kind of got into it um but we have the father i can't think of his name right now but he somehow got captured by Nick and is like you know i hope you're wearing your, your shit and pants and stuff so they got surrounded at one point which is a crazy little sequence and then there's just a, a million other things you got daryl riding around on his motorcycle you know setting up boxes uh with gas underneath them and you know blowing them up which i assume was to uh, basically, like, bring in a bunch of zombies and stuff to kind of have them follow him. But it was just, like, a bunch of clip, random little clips. It's, like, people fighting here, uh, people gathered there, leaders, you know, the different communities and stuff like that talking with each other. But we don't get a lot of dialogue. It was kind of just music and tension and just, you know, random sequences. Most of the sequences seem to be um, the setup. I don't know if this is going to be over the course of, you know, multiple episodes or anything like that. Um... Because that seemed like it easily could have been just one episode. I mean, with it being like, yeah, you know, and that's just TV in general. It's like typically all the action is done in like one set episode. So it's like, you know, Daryl's probably in one location getting all the zombies to follow him. And then in another look, excuse me, location, that's where we have scenes with like Carol, you know, peeking around corners and stuff with other people behind her because they're sneaking into a base or something. That could, like, the whole trailer could have easily been just from one episode. Like, it seemed like it almost was outside of like the very end. Um, in which when I get to that, I will be talking spoilers because I have read the comics, so I will let you guys know about that, and I won't, you know, we won't get into that there, but it was really good. Like, I liked how simple it was just because it was such a, a tense trailer, but nothing really happened, and I was like, it was kind of cool because it kept building up that tension, like, it's a trailer, so of course nothing's really going to get spoiled, but where's the breaking point within this trailer? What are we going to see? And then things start to happen, you know, there are explosions and stuff, but it's nothing like super duper crazy, but... Um, it was good. I, I really enjoyed it. I was like, okay, that was a nice trailer. The music and stuff going through is, you know, the main part. It was just the music and the clips syncing up to the music. That was really well done. And then, this is where we're going to get into spoilers. You know, and I'll mention, like, right when I start to talk about them. But we get that final clip, and it starts off, and I was like, okay, are they doing, like, a weird little flashback thing? I thought maybe this would be a dream sequence sort of deal, because it looked like it was going to be Rick, uh, of course, waking up from his coma again. I was like, oh, this would be, like, a... A dream sequence and at first I was like that's really weird why would they show that in the trailer that's not that big of a deal like him having a little dream sequence and I thought it'd been cool because the first thing I thought was oh the reason this is important is because it's like hey look who we're bringing back it'll be like a couple of the dead characters like his wife and his best friend stuff like that I was like oh that would be actually you know that would actually be kind of cool if they did it that way and I was like you know that, that, that's a cool little thing to do is like a little teaser like check out who will be back at least for like you know a couple minutes or whatever in an episode and then it actually shows rick wake up and i was like oh this isn't him in like a little dream sequence waking up from the coma you know and it you know it's like the perfect life or whatever this is him waking up and he's you know like he's full he's gray beard he's full on gray beard and so this is where i will officially get into spoilers so for everyone who has not read the comics you're not caught up um you don't even have to be caught up i'm not caught up but i'm past where you know what that showed um, so anyone who's not past that, if you don't want any spoilers whatsoever, you know, thanks for checking this out. Let me know what you thought about the trailer in general and, you know, what you guys are excited to see. But for everyone else, moving on into spoilers, I was super happy to see that because I was like, man, this whole season, I was like, is it going to be two more seasons of Negan? Is that what's about to happen? Are we going to have, you know, 
when we got last season, then this season coming up, and then the next season is going to be the ending. How are they going to do that? Because there is so much to be done. Would they pad it out? Just because of, you know, Negan as the this big bad villain, would they pad it out or would they just kind of hit home and be like, boom, we're moving on to the next stage? And I was super happy to see that they decided to not pad it out and they're like, yep, we are going to do everything everything it is um it's the i can't think of the actual name of the war but you know what comes next was like the main thing and so it was you know we're getting the war it's everything in this season beginning to end of the war we're gonna probably lose a lot of people but i'm curious to see how it's gonna play out you know what they decide to change who they keep who they don't keep i think they were unfortunately referencing a scene from the comics and maybe they'll change it i would love it if they did but it seemed like during one specific moment in that trailer, we saw a certain animal creature being surrounded, and I was like, mmm. In the comics, that didn't play out too well, so I don't know if that was them referencing it, because they show it. So I'm like, maybe they're showing it just to reference it, and it's like, oh, that danger, but it won't actually happen. I would love that, because, you know, even in the comics, I was like, ah, oh, that really sucks. Like, it actually happened where the, you know, the tiger actually dies. Um, so I don't know. You know, maybe they'll save it. Maybe they will, you know, do what they did with the comics where she actually does end up dying, but I was like, okay, that seems like they're referencing that, but of course the actual ending with Rick waking up, um, you know, the beard and the all full gray hair and everything, and with him having completely gray hair, I think they do a, a much longer time skip than they do in the comics, and I, I was, that was another thing, I was like, man, are they gonna do a time skip? And it made the most sense, because there's already one in the comics, it's of course like, a couple of months or whatever and it's you know not that not nearly as big of a deal but that's what comic book characters they can do that and of course the biggest thing with the show is that our youngest character who's 12 or whatever it's been you know going on eight years now so it's like all right they can easily do the same time skip and just with any tv series it's like yeah it was perfect for the last seven years they could skip those years and when i saw that ending clip i was like okay so they are officially doing the time skip but he has full-on gray hair. It's not like, oh, he's got a little bit of gray or whatever. It's full gray everything. I don't know how far they're going to go with that because it seemed CG when they showed it. So I was like, I don't really know how far they're going with that or what the deal is unless um, Andrew Lincoln has actually had gray hair for all this time and we just never noticed it because that was like full-on gray. Like he had a little bit of black hair at the end of his uh, beard. And I was like, okay, that's very interesting. But it definitely looked CG to me. So I'm like, I don't really know how that will play out. But based on the fact that they did like full gray hair, I think they will be doing like a couple of years instead of like, oh, it's, it's been a few months since everything went down with Negan and all that crap. I think this would be their way to be like, hey, we could actually say how old people are and, you know, this sort of thing. And of course, it'll eventually catch up anyway or, you know, surpass it because of course it'll be every season and will still only be a couple of months or sometimes a couple of days. Like a whole season was like two effing days. Um, so, of course, you know, it'll still surpass it. But for now, it's perfect for them to be like, hey, this happened in the comics, boom, we'll just add a couple, you know, seven years instead of like three months or whatever it was in the comic books. And that'll allow them to instantly age all the characters and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, this is how old everyone is. Everyone, of course, will look the same, but they can at least reference the age of the characters now because it's like, oh yeah, you know, Carl is just Carl. He's not 12 year old kid like he's meant to be. So that, of course, changes some things around. It, it'll make certain things um, potentially work a little bit better uh with relationship stuff as far as you know carl and you know what happens after that um so i'm very curious but with them doing the gray hair that's just my suspicion on it is that they are definitely going to be doing a couple of years instead of a couple of months and i'm excited for that i would love to see how they utilize that as a part of the story they'll probably still just do the exact same thing it'll just be like you know the characters physically look older and that's just how they'll do it um so, I don't know. You know, that was their simple way to do it, of course, by showing the beard and stuff. And, you know, in the comics, it was just like, you know, it was, it was the same thing, but it's it's black and white. So, you don't really see it in color. Like, oh, he went from black hair to full-on gray hair or anything, which he wouldn't because it had only been, like, two years. And I don't, based on the full gray, that's what makes me um, theorize that we're going to be going, like, seven years in the future or something like that. Or, you know, at least a couple years, maybe not seven. But they'll do a little bit of catch up if not like complete like let's just catch up to exactly where the actual age of the actors are so i don't know we'll you know we'll see what happens there but i was excited when i saw that i was like cool they are officially doing everything the war will officially end um 
I assume it'll be the last episode, but it might not be. And that's kind of what really has me excited. Because I was like, okay, um, it's the whole war and everything like that. And then the ending of the season will be time skip old Rick. But then I was like, hmm. When they do the time skip, there's a bit of time before, you know, the whispers come in. And, you know, that's been a big theory with, like, you know, the garbage people. They have their own name, but I, they're the garbage people. Um, so, you know, that's kind of been the thing. Is like, are they going to be the whispers? And that doesn't seem to be the case. They have their own name. They could transition into that if they kill off some of those characters and not all of them and stuff like that. But I don't think that'll, I don't think that'll be the case. I think it'll just be different people and, you know, the whispers will be their own thing, which I hope is the case. Um, just because I like the fact that they don't know the characters when the whispers first show up, there is no connection. It's just like, holy crap, these guys are just weird and they talk and it, it was just like oh, this whole weird mystery thing. I don't want it to be like, they already have the trash people and then it's like, oh, we heard like zombies talking and stuff like that. And then it's like, well, maybe it's them effing with us. And then that's the case. Like, I, I feel like that would just simplify it too much. And you know, obviously as a comic reader, I would know who the whispers are anyway, so it wouldn't matter. But I think for people that don't know it would make it weirder. Like, they might still go to them and be like, what are you guys doing? Are you dressing up? Or something going on. Maybe they'd have to kill them off to wipe that out completely because I feel like that would kind of give it away where people would be like, you know, they'd realize what was happening and that it's actually people in costumes dressed, you know, as zombies. But, I don't know. It, you know, it's hard to say. But I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I, I really like the Whispers as villains. I'm not super far into it because um, I only read the compendium. So, like, every two years is when I read the comics. So, I'm like right sorry if this is spoilers by the way um but i'm like right after i'll just say this i'm right after the mass of deaths like that is where my story has ended so i haven't seen them fight you know against uh the whispers i do know what happens a little bit because i know um kind of where negan's character goes with that just a little and i'm like hmm curious to see how people feel about that because i've already heard what my girlfriend thinks and i'm like oh you don't want that to happen, huh? And I was like, well, I can't say what's about to happen. Cause she was like, I really hope that they just, like, destroy him and stuff. I was like, I'm just going to shut up and watch the show right now. Because, man, she's going to be super pissed when we get to the end of this season. I can't wait to see how she feels about it. But I'm excited to see where we're headed. And it's just like, man, if that's, you know, maybe just the first half. And then the whispers come in in the second half. That would be nuts. But, you know, who knows how it'll play out. But we're getting the time skip for sure. And then... We just don't know officially where that time skip is going to come in at. Because, like I said, they could easily do, like, maybe two-thirds of the season or something like that. Or, you know, three-fourths. You know, same deal, really. Um, but, you know, a big chunk of the season is still, you know, the war between everyone and Negan's people. And then we still get maybe four full episodes or something after that. And that's where we get the introduction to the Whispers. Maybe we'll even go up to the point of kind of where I'm at in the comics where we get the end of the season and it's that mass moment we might even have that in this season just to be like hey you thought that was effing crazy check out how weird you know he was insane but you don't even know these people they're like they're in disguise and it's just like it's just random chaos so i'm excited for it i can't wait to see how they really utilize the whispers i can't wait to see how much of the whispers we get in this season exactly how long this time skip is going to be um i'm excited in general because there's a lot to happen in this season, depending on, you know, how close they want to stick to the comics as far as deaths. There's a lot. And plus, of course, we have characters in totally different positions and things like that. So there are naturally other elements that are going to be brand new. Naturally, Daryl, character that doesn't even exist. So, you know, and he's not the only one that doesn't even exist, you know, in the comics. So there's a lot to that. I'm definitely looking forward to this season. It had me very excited. And the time skip just had, like, so many implications to it. How much time they're skipping, when the time skip is going to happen will determine how much of, you know, the whispers we actually get for this season as well. How, you know, how close to the end it's going to happen, stuff like that. So, definitely looking forward to what we're going to be getting. Um, I'm also very curious. Uh, it was one of the things that they've kind of gone against in the series, which, of course, is injuries to Rick. I'm curious about that as well. I'm like, are we going to get that other injury that he has? You know, is his leg going to be messed up? Or are they going to stray away from that as well? Because that would be interesting. Because that's certainly changed his character um, in the comic. At least, you know, the little bit that I, I know. But it just had me curious. Like, hmm. You know, you kind of... And I'm assuming that's why Negan kind of goes into battle with the Whispers. is because of the issues with Rick. And it's like, well... I don't know. There's some logic there, I'm sure. And then that's how Negan kind of comes along. But... 
I'm curious. I'm definitely curious if they're going to do that with him get you know being injured and stuff like that. So we'll see where it goes. But I'm honestly very excited. Like once they showed that, I was like, sweet. It's going to be this season. It's not going to be padded out for a super long time. It's all going to happen here, and it'll be done by the end of this season. We are going to be done with Negan, moving on to the next chapter of the story, and that just feels good to me. I'm like, I'm just super happy that that's what they're doing and they are padding it out because. That's like the last thing I want to see. So I'm super happy with that. It made me excited like crazy to really get into this season, of course. Would love to know what you guys thought about uh, this trailer and your speculations for how things are going, of course. For people that may not have read the comics, please put a spoiler tag um, just so people can't, you know, find out certain things and why, you know, Rick has the beard and all that extra stuff. So please put a spoiler tag if you want to talk about it. But I would love to know your theories. Where are we headed? How soon are we going to get the ending to Negan and the beginning of the Whispers? Like, is it going to be a half and half thing for the season? I think that would be absolutely phenomenal. I just kind of doubt it. Um, simply because it's Negan and it's like, you know, let's have the whole season as like the war season. And then the last, you know, like I said, maybe not even the last four. It might be the last two episodes will be devoted to, you know, what comes next. And then introducing the Whispers in like the final episode of the season. But like, you know, in general, I just want to know your theories on how that's going to play out. And of course, your excitement based on this trailer in general. So please comment below. Let me know. And of course, thanks for watching.